So in lesson 49, we're continuing our true and false series, and this is the seventh of them. Now, there's a lot of debate amongst teaching pros as to what starts the downswing. A lot say it's in the ground up, that the hips and the legs clear. Some say it's the, sh the chest, others say it's the shaft and the head of the club, others say it's the hands. And the variety of information comes about because there's lots of different swing models, and you're not always comparing apples with apples. There's a mixture. So I'm always looking for an answer that is based upon function. If we do something well, we have the right method because we have to fulfill that function. So when we say pull, get the top and pull, to me, that's a left-sided image. That would be my left arm and my left shoulder. I would get to the top of my swing and thought, if I release my right, I'm not pulling my right, I'm releasing my right. I could imagine the pull feeling and Hogan in his book showed a chord from here to the hip and he actually actually said that the hip turn starts the downswing and the clearance. And who am I to contradict Ben Hogan? What I would say is that Mr Hogan in his early career had quite a strong grip and a shut face. So clearing the hips quickly is a very good mechanism for keeping the club face square through impact. But what if you're a golfer who tends to lose the ball to the right? I don't know that pulling downwards with the left side and clearing the hip would be of great help. I think in that particular instance, you'd need the right hand to work more freely. I'll just see if I can show you a couple of my tennis shots where I just use my right hand. You can see that that's a reflex motion and I'm catching the ball sweetly with the six iron and I've got a mid iron at knee high, I'm whacking it away freely and there's a nice bit of soft draw. Now I can assure you, I did not pull or clear my hip consciously. If you show the film back in slow motion, as Simon, my cameraman, might do for us, you might see that my hip and my leg led. Now I'd say that's an instinctive movement. I would say that my hip was leading and setting up my hand to release. So I think there is an element of pulling, but I don't think it's total. So if I got to the top and was all release, I could imagine myself pulling it. If I got to the top and was all pull, I could imagine myself blocking it. So, true or false, perhaps we need another maybe. It's going to depend upon your technique and the shot you're trying to hit. I think it's important to recognise the benefit of one school of thought and also the downside. Because good medicine, even good medicine, can have side effects. I know in my own case, I spend a lot of time teaching people swing plane and rotation, and therefore if my pupils overdose, they would tend to overdose a little bit too flat. Other golf pros teach a two-plane motion, a bit more like Tom Watson, and those pupils might end up a little bit too upright. So even with good medicine, you're going to get slight excesses. And the trick for the pupil and the teacher is to recognise those excesses and balance with a positive correction. So. Just showing you the release. I believe that I coil. Now the transition is to release. Now, in my own case, I believe that the hands will release the shot. Because I paused at the top, everything started down together. Club, arms, shoulders, hips. Watch that one more time. I load fully. I've caught them a max, and I believe releasing the hands like a racket sport is essential. Release. I can't see that as a pulling motion. However, when we actually hit a real shot with no pause, in slow motion you'll see the hips and legs win the race. So, you may forgive and think for thinking that there's a pulling motion. Whether it's a pull or a push, I don't think is too important. The issue is, are your legs working in sync and ahead of the club? Because I believe from photographic evidence of good players, that's what we see. So here's a swing with no pause, and I believe the hips and the legs will start the downswing instinctively. I will load and release. I will load and release. So I think you get a different reaction in the dynamic swing. And so many great players in the world, you know, Sam Sneed was a great one, the knees squatted 
and then the hips and the legs rode. Mr. Hogan cleared the hip and the left leg straightened. So I wouldn't gainsay those guys. So true or false? Should we pull? I think the answer is it depends.